Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. Let me turn some lights on here. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your great feedback for yesterday's video on the day one release of the March Impression Obsession Stamps and Dies. I really appreciate it. And I have more to share with you today. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first die I have to share with you is this die set here. Uh, this one is called Spring Bird. And it is a one, two, three, four, five die, um, five piece die set and actually you can build this bird uh, multiple different ways and you can um, use the uh, area here that goes around the eye and the belly um, to add some detail here like I have on this one it kind of looks like a peanut or you can also um, just leave this part off and you can use this little eye patch here um, to add a little bit of detail just around the eye like that I don't have one of those made right now and then the last way that you can um, assemble the bird is like this. And so what I've done is I've used not only that little belly piece, but I've also used the eye patch piece. Um, and so made like a little chickadee type of a bird. Um, the wing is its own piece, so you can place that where you like it. And it has a little bit of cutout detail there <clears throat> with some stitching. And then there's also some stitch details on the tail as well. So I think this little bird is really cute and um, I'm excited especially to be able to use him um, on some spring projects but also on some Christmas projects as well by making him like look like a little red cardinal. So I think he's real cute. So that is the spring bird. The next die I have to share with you um, is this one here. It's called Folk Art Trellis. And it has a little stitching detail along the outside edges. It has some cute little um, stitching detail there at the center. And then it has a cute little heart up at the top as well. And this is what it looks like when it's die cut. Here, why don't I go ahead and throw this on the back of a card. So you could see on an A2 sized card how large it is. And so that's that um, particular die. Again, it's called Folk Art Trellis. <clears throat> I didn't get a sample made with that one. <laughs> the next item I have to share with you for the release is this one. It's called, um, I think it's called Big Potted Flower. Let me check. It is called, oh, excuse me, Big Flower Pot. Um, and this is a super cute image here. And this is an image by Lindsay, uh, one of the illustrators for Impression Obsession. And here's the card I made with that particular stamp. I um, stamped it on watercolor paper and then I watercolored it with various different pigments and then added some splashy uh, watercolor to add just a little bit of um, detail around the outside edges of the image. And then I framed it with this uh, wood grain frame that was a previously released item here for Impression Obsession. And I think this card, while it's super easy, really fast, I think it turned out really beautiful. So that's that particular stamp. Really, really fun image to have. Um, the next image, um, or, or it's actually a clear stamp set to share with you, is this one here, and it's from Jeannie, and it's called In a Jam. And let me get a piece of paper back here so you can see it. So you've got In a Jam, Get Well Soon, I'm Here for You, all different kinds of different kinds of uh, preserves and jams that you could make, and some cute faces and flowers and icons even chicken soup down here at the bottom so that's really cute and um, we had a die that released previously that was the shape of a jelly jar and so what I did is I used the stamp called raspberry just to stamp on a label um, and now I can actually use this as a gift tag on a, um, gel of, a jar of raspberry jelly that I made so I think that turned out really cute and then to give you another example um, using this particular set I actually used the word chicken soup and the jelly jar die and also the sitting hens die and created myself a card of chicken soup. <laughs> so I think this one was really cute and it was really fun to make and pick out some of the fun uh, country style uh, kitcheny papers that I have for my jar. So there's that particular card. So really fun. I also have uh, this rustic butterfly die to share with you, and again, oh, here it is. Oh, I'll use this card. Here it is on the back of a A2 sized card. That's helpful for you to see the size. And again, this one's called rustic butterfly. And here's a card that I made with that uh, particular stamp, or excuse me, that particular die. 
So I was able to leave um, the wings um, up so they can be folded. And then the centerpiece there is separate, so I die cut it out of some glitter cardstock. So really beautiful. Um, this uh, frame die here is also a new release for this month. And it's um, this particular die set right here. And this one is called Three Rectangle Frames. So it actually cuts out three identical rectangles and the frame. And uh, you can do it all in one pass. You can actually inlay this on a piece of card um, front like this um, just to create like three windows and you can make a shaker out of it. Um, or you can use them individually like um, I did here on this card um, with some a cute little frame and some stitching detail and a nice spot there to put a sentiment. So again, that one is called Three Rectangle Frames. Uh, the next die that I have to share with you is this one here. It's called Folk Art Frame. And it is, uh, has a lot of stitching detail. It has a heart and some leaves that cut out on both, um, both ends and the sides. And it also cuts out the centerpiece uh, with some stitching detail. So I think this is really, really lovely um, die set here. And this is what um, I've created with it. I did not finish a sample for this, but just to show you how it die cuts. Um, so it does die cut the heart and leaves out. And so I, what I did is pop those out and collared them and then pop them back in and inlaid them back into the frame and die cut it in a, a craft color cardstock as well as watercolor paper and then just switch the two so that I have watercolor paper in here surrounded by this cute little craft frame. So I love that particular die. And then I have um, another card here to show that uses um, some of the new stamps. <clears throat> there is this particular one from Lindsay, and this stamp is called Black Eyed Susan. So it's really cute with that little heart there. It's got some fuzz on it, of course. So really cute little image. I love this one. And I also used um, on a card that I'm going to share with you, this particular stamp here, it's called Choose Kindness. So it's got a really nice little font. Um, it's two different styles of font, um, and it's a really nice size. So let me go ahead and show you the card that I made with those two products. And it's this card here. I stamped the image on watercolor paper, uh, painted it, and then added a bunch of little splashy splooshies around. And then also stamped the sentiment here and filled in um, where a choose has some open spaces, I filled that in with a uh, turquoise that complements the uh, color of the pattern or the uh, cardstock that I used for my card base. <clears throat> I think this one turned out really pretty. I love this card. And then I have some faux stitching up here at the top as well that I did with my tracing wheel. Um, here is a tag that I made with the <clears throat> the uh, stitched tag number five set and some of the um, tulips that are from the flower set being released and it is called flowers and leaves the die set is called flowers and leaves and it looks like this so it comes with um, <clears throat> one uh, stem here with two leaves and it comes with a tulip face it comes with a um, daisy style flower face. It comes with four leaves, um, this style of flower here, as well as this one here, which is kind of like a grape hyacinth type flower. So that's what that particular die set looks like. And so I uh, used it to create these three little red tulips on this tag. And I think this turned out really pretty. And here's that sentiment again, escape to quiet places that speak to your soul. I guess that was my favorite sentiment from this release because I've used it on like four projects. <laughs> And then I have this um, project to share with you as well. This uses the gnome set, the sitting gnome die, and the um, stitched tag number five um, and sentiment banner as well. And I think this is so cute, and I'm excited to be able to send this out to a friend, a crafty friend here now. So... And I think that's it for my video share today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will leave uh, links down below in the description box to um, the Impression Obsession um, website where we are 
um, to the blog where we're actually starting a hop um, tonight. And um, it is the final day. It's the second day of two of our blog hop. Um, and so all the designers then are sharing inspiration. There will be links to all the designers who are participating. And it's a really fun hop to travel through and get inspired. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I do really appreciate all your positive feedback. Um, it's really wonderful to know that you all enjoy the products and we're moving in the right direction. So have a great rest of your evening and thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.